Hi everybody, welcome back. Are you ready to come in? Because we've got a great story for you today. Miss Becky's all ready. Come on in. Hi everybody. Come on in. If you're ready, take a seat amongst your friends. I have a great story to tell you today. This is the parable of the great pearl the parable of the great pearl. And you've heard a couple parables already, so this is kind of like what you've heard before. But before we get started, we need to do a couple of things. Just like always, we're gonna light our Christ candle. We've already lit our Christ candle. And you all are gonna go grab your candles out of your boxes, and you're gonna light your candles so that we know this is a sacred space. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna ask Miss Marty to come change the circle of the church year calendar. And Miss Becky. Okay, remember we're in the season of Epiphany. We're going to get one week closer to Lent, and then we'll be to Easter. So we're almost to Lent. Thank you, Miss Marty. Okay, everybody. So today I'm going to tell you a story. It's called a parable. And you've heard these before. So do you remember where the parables are? They're not over on the Old Testament shelves or behind me. They're over here on the other side of the sand tray and right by the circle of the church here calendar. So this parable has a white dot. This is the parable of the great pearl. And just like all parables, this box has a lid. Sometimes it's hard to get into it. It's gold because things that are gold are precious. It looks like a present, and it is a present. This was a present given to us a long, long time ago. Not one you purchase or somebody gives you. Jesus gave us these presents a long time ago. So the parable of the great pearl. Do you remember that parables sometimes are called earthly stories with heavenly meanings? This is another one just like that. This is the parable of the great pearl. So why don't we look inside and see what's in here? All right. Well, first of all, I have something big and white. Is it a snowball? Could it be a snowball? It's kind of cold outside. I don't think it's a snowball. Wow. Big circle of white. Is it a big cloud? What could this have to do with this story? Well, pearls are white. A lot of pearls are white. Hmm. Let me keep looking. Huh. What is this? It's brown. Hmm. It has corners. Huh. Let me see what else we have. Here's another similar color and shape. And here's another one. My goodness. I wonder if they go together. Let me see. Wow, two more of these. One last brown square or rectangle with an opening. Hmm. I wonder what these have to do with the story. Let's see what else we have in here. Huh. Hmm. Let's see, that looks like a man in a robe and a chair and a chest with his belongings in it and bags of money. Oh, that's a footstool and a table. There's his bed. He's got a little candle so he can see at night and a jug of water. Let me 
me see what else is in here. Hmm. This is another man at a table. He has some things on his table. Let me see what this is. What's in here? Oh, pearls, fine pearls. Well, there was once a man who said such wonderful things and did such amazing things that people followed him. One day they heard him talking about a kingdom, unlike the kingdom that they lived in or anything they'd ever heard or anything they'd seen. One day when they were following him, they asked him more about this kingdom the kingdom of heaven. What's the kingdom of heaven like? Well, this man said, the kingdom of heaven is like someone who searches for and buy, buys fine pearls, a merchant, when he goes in search of the great pearl. So the kingdom of heaven is like a person who buys and sells pearls but goes in search of the great pearl. So the merchant left his home and he traveled to other homes and he looked at the pearl. Nope, that's not it. So he continued to travel and he went to other places where he would find pearls look at it in his eye and he'd say, nope, it's not this pearl. They're all fine pearls. So he kept searching and finally he came to a seller of pearls and he took that pearl and he looked at it in his eye and he said, that's a great pearl. So he left the pearl with the seller and he went back to his home and he brought a stool and his chair, his chest with all his belongings, table with his lamp and his vase with water. He even brought his bed and all his money that wasn't enough. He wanted to offer this seller everything he had. So he packed up his whole house and all his belongings in exchange for the great pearl. So he went back to where he lived and took the great pearl. He exchanged everything he had, all of his belongings for the great pearl. So I wonder how that pearl is so special that he would trade everything he had for a pearl. I wonder if the merchant is happy with the great pearl. I wonder what the merchant will do now. I wonder why he would give up everything he had for the great pearl. I wonder why the seller would give up something so precious. I wonder if the seller has a name or if the merchant has a name. What could be so precious that you would give up everything for the one thing that's so precious? Have you ever been close to the Great Pearl? I wonder where this whole place could be.
Here's the great pearl. Here are the other pearls. Here are the places. Here are all the merchant's things all of his belongings. Here's our cellar. And here's the merchant. Now it's time for you all to go to your art boxes and pull out what you'd like to work with today. And I wonder what you'd like to create to help you remember this story. And when you're finished, you can have a feast and thank God for everything you have, for your family and for your friends and for these beautiful stories. And then you say, Amen. And we'll see you all next week. Bye-bye, everybody.